Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to do a quick little video for you today because I'm going to try to answer a couple of questions that I've got. A number of questions have come in lately on what am I wearing for a foundation? Am I doing anything different as far as a foundation? And the answer to that is that I actually am doing something different. A couple of, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe a month ago now, um, I had gone to, and I'll insert the little clip here, but I had gone to Macy's, and I know I talked about this, I think in one of my videos, but I had gone to Macy's, and I ended up getting color matched for the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I was really surprised at the color match. Um, they had put me in Pebble, so rather than buy it at Macy's, I knew that we had a cosmetic company outlet store in Merrimack, in, uh, which is about maybe a half hour from where I work, and uh, but an hour from home. So I thought maybe one day after work I could go to the outlet store in Merrimack and go into the cosmetic company store. Before I did that, though, I called them to ask if they had the color I was looking for, and they said, yes, absolutely, they did. And not only that, it was on sale. It was like 40% off. So I ended up going to the cosmetic company store. I ended up buying the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Pebble. I ended up buying two bottles of it for less than I would have paid for one at Macy's because of the sale they had at the um, cosmetic company store. So I bought it. I, they had given me a little sample, so I had used the sample for a good week, week and a half before I decided to buy it. And then I went down and I bought it. And most days, not every day, but most days, I have been wearing the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I've also been using for a, and I haven't found a satisfactory primer yet, but I, I will tell you that I think I'm going to stop looking for a concealer because... I'll pay a little bit more and I'll get the benefit um, Boeing B-O-I-I-N-G concealer. I have two of them and I have the number three and I have the number two and these are the little industrial strength ones. These are not the little um, one in the tube that you can do that's light. This is pretty heavy duty. So I, I'm just going to stick to this. I'm not going to go on any kind of massive hunt for concealer anymore because what I find is that I'm just looking to cover up my nose veins here. And, and um, even when I was wearing my other foundation of choice, which is my Boots number no. 7, I would, after a while, would have a breakthrough. Even when I put this on, eventually you could start to see the veins come through this and then through the foundation. But one of the things that I found that all the other concealers that I've tried, that they're like, I put it on and like a minute later, it's like there's nothing there. Those veins just pop through. Color corrector, anything, it's just they're going to pop through. And yes, I know I can have them zapped. I, I know some of you are going to tell me to do that, and I may eventually do that. But right now, I'm still on the chicken side of doing it. So, um, so I have the number three and I have the number two in this concealer. And what I've been doing in the morning after I put on, you know, I do my morning routine. I, I usually end up using the Studio 35 Alpha Hydroxy Acid Cream. And I put that on my face. And I know I've mentioned this in the past. I let it sit on my face, depending on how early I get up, 20 minutes, an hour, two hours. Really all depends. And then I kind of wash it off, rub it off with... Um, either a very gentle exfoliating type of a glove or a kind of more rougher face cloth. And I will, you know, take off whatever dead skin is on my, my face. And, uh, and then I put like some, you know, after I do the serums and all that stuff, I put sunblock. And I'm still using the Australian Gold Mineral um, by Tonica, whatever, mint, tinted sun, sun block. That's a, it's a 50 SPF. I'm still using that. I like that a lot. I particularly concentrate on the area here. I put a, I put it on like a couple of coats when I'm driving the car, and that side of my face is always doubly exposed. It's also where my uh, worst eye wrinkles are, is on my left side, etc. So I'm, I'm very much putting on double doses of sunblock and then you know put it all over my face but double doses of sunblock there and then I kind of let that settle in you know like maybe 20 minutes and again my timing is never exact because if I don't get up early enough then I'm shortening the time gap but if I get up early enough I just want to make sure that sunblock is dry it's sunk in 
it's not sitting there mushing around and then I'll go with my concealer and now normally I'll take the heavier one I'll do the number three it's really dark but it kind of blends into your skin so I'll do the number three underneath it and then I'll do my foundation if I'm going to be doing the SD Lauder double wear I shake it up and I tap you know on my face and I take a beauty blender type sponge I I kind of wet it and I just pat in I don't rub it with a brush I find that when I use a brush it swirls around too much and if I'm going to be peeling it's going to move any skin around and bring that forward again even though I've exfoliated so I find that the damping damp blender the damp um, sponge really does help pat that in and then on my nose I will go over with the number two which is a lighter and I'll tap that on top of it and if I'm going to do another another dose of this, I would just dot it on my nose and then do the same thing with the, the beauty blender. I'll make sure that it's all blended in. And at that point in time, if I'm gonna do blush, I do blush. And then I'll use some sort of a setting spray when I'm all done. Now, I find that the, the double wear lasts for me um, a good amount of time. Now, I will have to, even with the double wear, touch up around my nose. But the rest of my foundation looks great. You know, it doesn't seem to settle into crevices. It doesn't seem to wear off here and there. It looks really great. But I usually have to touch up around my, my nose where the veins are. And I have to do the same thing when I use my number seven, Lift and Luminate. So the only drawback to the Estee Lauder is there's absolutely no SPF in it, where the Lift and Luminate does have like 15 SPF, which is nothing. And, um, but what I always was trying to always use was the It Cosmetics because it had the 50 SPF, but that does not work with my skin. I have a hard time with the It Cosmetics um, foundation. I've tried it several times. I add oil to it. It just does not work well with my skin. So I'm using up my number seven, and this will be sort of around the house, beat around the house type of a foundation for me. But if I'm going out and about, and I want to make sure that I'm covered, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder. I think this is really nice. So that is the answer to your questions about what am I wearing for a foundation? Why does my skin look different? I don't know that my skin looks different. I really don't. But that's the question that many of you have asked. So that's the answer, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have, if have any of you tried that foundation, CYO, I've seen a couple of reviews on it. It's um, a Walgreen foundation. It's supposed to be really nice. So have any of you tried that? I'm just curious if you have. I um, My Walgreens is sold out. Even online, it's sold out. So I'd be really curious. That might be the only other foundation that I'm torn to really trying. So when I get my hands on it, I'll give it a try. I'll let you know how it compares to the Boots Number no. 7 drugstore and uh, my the Estee Lauder. Yeah, I'll let you know. So you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.